Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot card. These are your daily tarot cards for Tuesday, March the 17th, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Gilded Tarot cards. So I definitely feel like because we have the Four of Swords, if you've been having a crazy time lately, maybe, you know, everything's... I feel like it's like the Ten of Wands we were talking about earlier in the year, where it's just like we're waiting for the Wands to fall and it's like don't take anything else on. And I definitely feel like there's a lot of us... Um, that sit there and get this flow of energy where it's like, I could definitely say like this with, with readings where it goes in this flow and flux. And it's just like, you know, being grateful for when that time is there, but also being appreciative of when, you know, things get quiet. It's just like, you know, it's time for you to rest and rejuvenate, concentrate on the things that you should be concentrating on your priorities in your life. You know, we were talking about this yesterday saying how like, you know, with my, uh, my girlfriend, her kids are in private school and myself, where I homeschool and it's just like, you know, our kids will be out of school because they start August. My kids start August first. Her kids, I think, are like the first or second week of August. And it's just like, you know, getting ready for that time to be with the kids. You know, they're saying fun and flavorty. So definitely with the Eight of Pentacles, and that's why I talk about the Four of Swords first, is this time of um your creative abilities. So traditionally we'll see with the Eight of Pentacles, especially with Astrology Answers, where he's making the pentacles out of metal. So it, it was a blacksmith. Here, it's like, you know, you see the piles of books. So maybe this is where you level up in a way where you're sitting there spending more time investing into your your um, your um, higher self. Intellectual, you know. This is where, um, you know, when there's, he's like painting the pentacles. It's like the things that you're creative with. So it's giving you that time. You know, I feel like a lot of us do ask for that time, like, you know, especially when you're busy, busy, busy and it gets like this. It's just like that time and it's like to enjoy it. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, we have one life to live. It's like, enjoy it. So in a pentacles appears, all of your hard work is about to pay off. This is a, me a message of committed labor and a dedicated mindset to the ultimate goal. If this card appears in relationships, know all the steps you've taken are now about to pay off. And work, this means of uh, a card of public uh, of productivity and trade. You're well on your way to your ultimate success. Mastering and perfecting skills, learning to do best, to do the best you possibly can. And that's the thing. It's like, as long as you're showing the universe that you're putting your best foot forward in learning, um, you know, Every day is a learning experience. Every day, like, you're sitting there and it's like things are brought to our attention. You know, maybe uh, we were taught something the wrong way, so now we're relearning it. How to work that into our everyday life or whatever this is. It's like sitting there, we got that, like, knocking last week of successfully finishing um, a course of study or a trade. So, like, a probation period or something like that. But I definitely feel like as long as we're sitting there showing, putting our best foot forward... Try to make those changes. Try to make those improvements. You know, even if it's just like in the spiritual arts, because we do get the books there. It's like whatever this is, it's just like as long as you're putting your best foot forward, you'll be just fine. Loving your work and the process as much as the end result. Exactly. It's like layers. You know what I mean? You have to sit there and love every part of it. You know, it, we all have been there where it's like the starting of something where we're, we're nervous well, now they're nervous as energy is going. We're learning, you know, we're learning our footing here. So it's just like, you know what I mean? As long as you're showing that you're you're trying to sit there and get better and better and doing your best, putting your best foot forward, like, you know, it'll pay off. So we go to the Nine of Pentacles. So we've been getting her a lot lately. So this is like a rebirth in our life. This is like, you know, some people say like a, a knocking of abundance coming in. Um, You know, it's different for everybody. But... Again, I definitely feel like, you know, a positive knocking here. And especially with our grounding forces, because we, we need that right now. You know, with Mercury retrograde going on, the lunar eclipse, it's like, you know, Uranus is in the sky, kind of making it a little feel more heavier than we would like. But it's just like, you know, got to sit there and embrace whatever, you know, pattern we're in. So promises, success and wish fulfillment. All your hard work is, is ha you've been putting forward and your goals is about to be accomplished. You're very near the end of a cycle. So we did get the world card yesterday and success is yours to be had. Affluence, wealth are the literal symbols of this card. However, 
This card can also symbolize affluence and wealth in an emotional or spiritual area of your life. So you can see here where they're learning the books and it's like, you know, I think of Deborah Silverman where she's always offering classes. You know, she does four uh, webinars that are like 15 minutes each and then we all meet on Zoom and she gives us the opportunity to join a master class, you know, but it's a great way to connect with people. As this woman is on the heavy side, sometimes this card means a pregnancy is around you or maybe even you. Sometimes this card could also signal travel or you're, you need to travel or about to travel to experience the, war, the rewards of your hard work and efforts. You know, I feel like uh, on the move. And, and I feel like with travel, I don't, everyone thinks like it's a vacation. It could be travel or like a move or something like that. I feel like move in a positive direction. Creating a life you love and are proud of. Achieving your heart's desires. Being proud of your life and happy with it. And I, this is where I feel like that's where that energy comes in of, you know, like I said, every day is a learning experience. Sometimes we think we are, we're taught something and maybe we were taught the wrong way. And it's like, you have to rewire it, you know, you got to take that out and rewire it. So it's working towards that, um, aspect of rewiring yourself, you know, um, sometimes, you know, I could definitely say this when it comes to like shadow work. You know what I mean? When we're sitting there and it's like how we talk to ourselves, I definitely feel like it's rewiring ourselves. It's like, you know, maybe we're always used to running ourselves down. It's like, um, it's like, you know how like some comedians disarm other comedians because it's like, oh, they're going to make fun of my weight or this or that, my family, whatever it is. So they make jokes about it. So nobody else can make a joke about it because it's like, oh, well, you can't say like, ha ha ha, you're fat. It's like, well, they already made a joke about him being overweight or her being overweight. You know what I mean? Um, or they eat a lot, whatever it is, you know what I mean? So it's just like, they kind of disarm you that way because it's like, I already made that joke. So now I take that out of your arsenal. You know what I mean? The word karma is popping up. So we go to the king of cups. So with the king of cups, this could be an, um, an ally in the way of, uh, like a partnership. We got that with the lovers yesterday, or this could be. You know, like they're saying, the King of Cups showing up. Very Emperor energy with the King of Cups. You know, combination of elements. A very positive one of love. Someone may enter the day with a big heart and a lot of love and support for you. It could be an older man or it could be a water sign. There's a generous and loving spirit in play when you see this card. And the card that brings the promises that love you are looking for is in your life and around you. So, like, you know, there is, there's a difference between being lonely and uh, seeking love. You know what I mean? Loneliness is our body's desire. This is our sacral chakra where we want that intimacy, you know, that sexual intimacy with someone. You know what I mean? But that's just like our body's desire. You know what I mean? But when we fall in love, that's more of a soul connection. That's an energy connection. You know what I mean? Like there, it's just like, you know, I remember it. I would, me and Shane would always talk about this, like, we were together for 10 years and it's just like, you know, one of our fondest things was to like cuddle in bed and talk about everything and anything and hours would go by and we could still keep talking. You know, the, when we first started dating, we would talk until the sun came up and I worked second shift and he worked third shift at work. And I was just like, okay, I got to go to bed because I got to be up in a few hours, you know, like in four hours, get ready and go to work. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. Like, you know, he would get off of work at midnight. But we would talk until the sun rose and we were still like that, you know, 10 years later. We're like, we never ran out of things to talk about, you know, and I feel like that is uh, when you could be so vulnerable with your partner, talk about everything and anything, you know, that's a connection that you want. You know what I mean? That's a, you know, that's why I never look over. I, I never overlook that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, every relationship has its whatever's. But that's one thing I can never take away is the, like the fact that we were a dynamic duo. The fact that we would talk to each other for that many hours about the universe and about the past of, you know, our world and our ancestors and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? That deep connection. So that's where I feel like, you know, in this area, I feel like this is a re love respect relationship. I feel like this exactly like I said, respect, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't respect each other. I feel like loyalty with this, you know what I mean? So I feel like in that sense, I don't feel like this is a love connection. You have built good businesses or careers for yourself and likely have a stable, loving family life. But there is a longing in your heart. In gaining power and, accompli and accomplishments, you have lost touch with your creative side. Seek an artistic or creative outlet 
nurture your emotions. So for me, like one part of like gardening is the artistic side of things. Like I remember when we first moved down here, um, they had wild lilies growing in the, the, uh, field. So I asked if I could take some and they're like, yeah, go ahead. Like there's snakes there or whatever. So I sat there and I cut the grass and it was tall. It was taller than me, like cut the grass to where they were. And I dug them out and I would sit there and I would replant them around the property and I would make it this beautiful like landscape. You know what I mean? And that's like creatively, I could see where I would want, what I w wanted to plant them and how they would look, you know, and, uh, you know, have certain, um, decor around it. You know what I mean? If it either dollar store or like, you know, go to Walmart, buy like, you know, a statue or something like that. So it's just like that kind of creativity. You know, we are getting into gardening and I'm sure a lot of people will say that when they put their benches out, um, they're showing like a well, like, you know what I mean? You sit there and you take care of those belongings and you have them out on display, like, you know, in this time of the year, and then you put them away so that way you can redo it again. You know, the landscape always looks different. It's all, uh, every year is a new, um, opportunity to redo the landscape. You know what I mean? I, uh, know in our area, they buy these cute little porcelain statues. Well, they're not so little, but they're at least probably 17 inches and they're like sitting in a seated position. So they'll put them on their stones. They'll put them on a swing. They'll put them on a bench and it's really cute. They make this little cute scenery in their front yard and it's just gorgeous to see with all the flowers. You know what I mean? So I feel like in that creative way, you know, and I feel like this is where I said with the four swords, I feel like things are slowing down in the sense that it's like, you know what I mean? Like you're able to sit there and, you know, take that time to be more with family, but also, you know, time for things that you want to do. You know what I mean? You want to accomplish. So with the four swords, so we're getting a lot of number fours dealing with the home. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we got the emperor, we actually have the emperor present here, you know, um, but it's like a lot of, I can't remember if it was Mercury retrograde or full moon but there was a lot of four cards and I felt like there's a lot the dynamic of the home is changing in that aspect like things are changing there so this card is um a healing card that comes after the heartbreak of the three of swords most tarot decks show religious symbols as healing is taking place in a church there's a loss associated with this card although there is neither dark or light in nature it is simply a resting time to regroup collect yourself and heal after a difficult time I feel like, you know, with myself, it's like I was chasing my tail for the longest time. And now that school is one last thing on my plate, it's like, you know, for a couple of months, it's just like, it's, oh, you know, I can get off of work and it's just like, you know, have dinner and I have to rush through dinner. You know what I mean? Like I could sit there, I'm not sitting there in, um, between work and be like, okay, like, you know, make sure you get this done, make sure you get this done. Like, you know, and you know, so that way after dinner is done, like, you know, I could sit there and, you know, finish off whatever we have to, you know, and it's not until like midnight, you know what I mean? So it's just like, that's where I feel like, you know, and I could definitely talk about, especially like, uh, they're like showing my job when I worked at Tim Hortons, where we would notice in the summertime, like people would start taking vacation. I feel like August is a very vacation month, um, where they were just like, you know, we're going to have to cut hours and stuff like that. So I feel like, Maybe in that way with work. I know they talked about that with some jobs. It's just like the, you know, opportunities to leave early, you know, um, so that way they could save money. It's like, oh, hey, who wants to go home? Like, you know, who, who wants to, you know, leave, you know, and, you know, it, but it's just like at the end of the day, you know, that's your paycheck. You know what I mean? So it's just like, <laughs> um, I remember she was sitting there saying like, you know, um, if you can leave, it's like, yeah, it's great. But then when you get paid, you're just like, eh, you know, maybe not such a great thing. So they're saying a, ch a, a, a time for rest before you can pick up the sword again. So, you know, definitely maybe you're delving. We're talking about the spiritual arts here, your, your soul, uh, soul food. You know, I was talking about this. I've been doing, I didn't realize how much Q and a I had on TikTok. Like I remember one time I checked there, there was nothing, uh, when I opened the Q and a, and then, um, I don't think I had an opportunity to look at it again. I don't remember looking at it at all until like last night. And it's just like, I'm trying to answer as many as possible. But, um, it's like, we were talking about reading the Quran, the Christian Bible, the Catholic Bible, the Torah, 
the tippy talk. It's just like, that's where I feel like maybe with this rest time of rest and rejuvenation, you're reconnecting with a spiritual system that will get you through. Like I was speaking to my brothers about this and they're the Hebrew faith. And I said to them, I said, they're like curious how come I, I, I went to the Torah. I was drawn to it. And I said, well, you know, um, the other brothers that I was connected with, uh, you know, I was curious about the Hebrew faith and I had asked them to get me a Torah, but it was all in Jewish. It was all in Hebrew. Um, so, um, I was like, I wanted the English side so like I could, you know, start reading it. I finally came across one in Indigo that has, uh, English in it. And I was just, I'm grateful for it. But I even said like, you know, they asked me about my spiritual side of things. And I said to read things as, a, um, as a single person, as a mother, um, as a widow, it's just like, it hits you so differently. You know, if anyone that reads, you know, I read two pages every single day as devotion. That's just my personal journey. Um, but anyone that could relate to that can understand, you know, different chapters of your life, reading it as a single person, as someone that's in a committed relationship, hopefully by the grace of God, you never know what it's like to lose a partner. You know, like we have, we do lose loved ones, but to lose a partner is hard, but it's just like, it hits you so differently. You know, I always encourage, you know, people that come to me that are going through what I went through. I'm like, you know, I watch mass for shut-ins. I'll send them the link. I'll send them um, uh, tribal trails. I'm like, watch it if you want. I'm like, you know, but it's just like, it hits you differently. You know what I mean? Like you sit there and, and, and hear those words because how could I ever relate to someone? Like they said, don't judge a man until you walked a mile in his shoes. No truer words were spoken until I read that through. Like reading it as a widow, it's just, it hits you so differently. And it's like, now you understand. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, and it's, it's a blessing and it's a bittersweet, you know, it's better because of what happened, but it's sweet because it's like, I know what I'm talking about, you know? That's why I feel like when they were talking here with the Eight of Pentacles, it's so fitting. Like the spiritual arts where it's just like maybe you're drawn to something that gives you that healing so you can move forward. You know, definitely a lot of forward movement we're getting here. Time to regroup, meditate, find your center. Recharging your spiritual strength to, to solve the problem. And some of the times the problem is we're standing in our own way, you know. In this time, temperance is with us. Look, lunar eclipse over our head. Combination of elements. We have our water, we have our fire, you know? We have our water, we have our fire, you know? So I feel like maybe this person stepping in, moon and sun, water and fire, you know? So this is where I feel like with temperance, it's just like, you know, this time of peace and healing, you know? But our guardian angels, our ancestors are watching over us at this time, you know? Temperance, we always talk about how it's a path. It's the EA weight and the ethereal deck where they have these paths next to the angel that leads to the sun. She has the sun at her feet. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like it's like, you know, like some people will say, even in the darkest times, you know that you have, you can look forward to the light. Moderate your life in ways, physically, spiritually, and emotionally and intellectually let your actions or inaction be appropriate to the situation you know talking about here sometimes we just need that rest and rejuvenation sometimes we just need that time to ourselves to woo sal listen to some music and do some artwork or whatever this is this this artistic creative venture when tempers appears you should expect to see some harmony in your life in a situation at hand a little bit big picture uh, reflection is a good idea when we see this card. So we have the full moon and a lunar eclipse. And then we start heading into the um, waning Gibson, then the waning Crescent. You know what I mean? So it's a time of reflection. This card is not about overt action. No excess energy is required on your part to resolve the situation. Four swords. No excess at the time for rest. In fact, the opposite is caution. The tarot card brings a message that it may be a time to step back a little bit and exercise some caution on key areas of your life. Sometimes this card brings a message of moderation. If you've been consuming too much in the way of spending, drinking, substance use, this card sends a message to curb things back. With the movement of water between the two cups, 
This can also send a message that some travel may be present uh, uh, when you see this card. We did mention that earlier. Travel, travel, movement. You know, we see the movement of water movement again. So we're going to end on the emperor, you know, St order and structure. I feel like this is bringing order and structure back in your life. Definitely a grounding force. Healthy stability, creating an environment that allows you to work effectively. Work effectively, right? Everything keeps being drawn to each other. Seeking well-functioning order in your life. Appro uh, appreciate the rules of society that allowed a smooth and peaceful life. I feel like when they're saying allow, um, I was getting like this combative energy with like at work where it's just like we're trying to force our will or force change. But it's like it's in a combative way, a rebellious way. And I'm like, there's more easy, not easy, but more productive ways. Like, you know, today is Buddha's birthday. So it's just like, you know, his teachings was from a calm, calm peaceful, patient, uh, articulate, verbal way on how to sit there and speak to people that they understand, you know, and a non-threatening way where he can get his point across there's no confrontation and people are more willing to listen. You know, when you come out and blah, 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 and you're sticking your finger in your hands and clapping your hands together, it's like, you know, it, it comes off aggressively. The message is lost with the actions. But, you know, if you think like there's that Buddhist uh, priest that I, um, I share a lot on uh, Instagram, I just, you know, when he sits there, he says, are you up and ready for your fresh meditation? You know, he always tells us to keep it fresh, you know, meaning, you know, do your meditation, you know, do, do things that keep your soul satisfied, your soul food, you know, do those things that keep you awake and alert and ready. Like, you know, don't sit there and compromise it with stupidness. But that's where I felt like with this, um, you know, it's a fiery sign. You know what I mean? So it's like, I get fiery energy. I get temperament. You know, I feel passion. You know, you feel passionate about something and you want to get your point across, but it's like how you articulate yourself. You could sit there and go at someone with your finger in your face and it's all about the way you approach things. So, you know, take the 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 way of the Buddha where we sit there and, you know, peace, calm, tranquility. Like, look at the state that he sits in. He sits with his legs crossed in a meditated state. It's not threatening. He sits there and he the way that he keeps his posture, the way he, uh, he carries himself, the way he articulates his words in a non-threatening way so you're more willing, prone to listen. So that's where I felt like, you know, with this, I felt like, you know, rebellious energy where it's just like, you want to get your point across, you want to be heard, but you're going about it the wrong way in an aggressive way. The emperor support, um, symbolizes the number four also represents Aries could be yourself or Aries in your life. Your goals are well in the process of starting something wonderful in that regard today. This is a connection to Aries. It also signifies a form of leadership could enter a situation. This can mean you are required to take the lead in control of an issue. A connection to authority could be important in your day today. You could also simply need the advice of your dad or simply a father figure. You may also have a contractor or a real estate agent visit the house today to start a big project or even to give you a quote. It's a great day to do so when the emperor appears. New opportunities have the ways of finding themselves to you in, in your path. Seize the day and build something wonderful with it. So it looks like maybe another opportunity is coming in. Definitely with the world card that we got, I believe was yesterday. And remember we had the four cups and it was just like, we're tossing one away because we're not satisfied. We're dissatisfied and we're not grateful for the things we have. So eh, we toss the cup and it's just like the universe brought that in because you manifested it and you're so willing just to throw it back. It's just like, mm, you know what I mean? It's like you can't manifest things and then just be like, uh, I'm not happy with it. You know what I mean? So I feel like attitude of gratitude is, is really important. You know what I mean? Be appreciative of everything that we have in our life and the experiences. And, you know, it's not so much about the material things at the end of the day because we can't take it with us. You know what I mean? It's nice to acquire things and feel comfortable in our home and make it our own. But I feel like it's like, you know... Even like I was watching this TikTok and he's like, well, think about all the unnecessary crap you buy. You know, you can see the trinkets in my background. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, how much happier we would be if we didn't have those things. And, you know, we lived a freer life. You know what I mean? We're, we're slaves to 
um, debt, essentially, for a home, for a house, for, you know, uh, same thing, home, house, but renting, uh, mortgage payment, car payment, like, you know, phone payment, like, you know, because we want the newest, greatest gadget that flashes and whistles and it's only maybe half an inch bigger. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, I feel like this is where temperance comes in. It's like curving that back, you know, and getting more to your spiritual side, that healing side and rest and rejuvenation. You know, I definitely get fatigue, you know, it's a lunar eclipse. So I'd feel like a lot of us feel that, you know, energy of like, oh, I can't, I, even though you're trying to get enough sleep, it's like you can't get enough sleep. So, you know what I mean? Like if you have days coming off, like, you know, or you're just coming out of the weekend, it's just like, you know, you still feel tired. It's like, if you're able to take a nap, take a nap, be kind to yourself. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, you're lazy because you nap. It's like, you know what? I'd rather have someone nap and get themselves right, you know, in the mind and their soul than sit there and be up and be tired and be cranky and doing things um, that maybe they shouldn't because they're tired. You know what I mean? Like, you know, doing like they're showing like, like drilling something or you know what I mean? Where it's just like, it needs your full attention. And it's like, you're half attention because you're half asleep. So it's just like, don't feel like if you lay down because you need to, that you're lazy, you're taking care of yourself. This is where they're telling you a time for rest and rejuvenation is needed here. A time to heal time to, you know, regroup and get yourself whole again. So you can pick up the sword and move forward because something's coming in. We keep talking about travel. There's moving ahead. Something's coming in the future. Something, something's coming towards us. You know what I mean? So it's like getting ready for it, you know, preparation. So I feel like when that time comes, it's like, enjoy it. I would sit there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm lazy. I'm this and that, you know, because I'm not doing enough. And it's just like, I don't even think about how many days straight, how many readings that I did in a row, you know, at Christmas time. And I was just like, I took a day off to sit there and, you know, watch TV. It's like big deal. You know what I mean? But that's the way they make us feel. You're, 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 you're guilty because, or make you feel guilty or that you're not doing enough because you took a day off for yourself. So, you know, you got to do things that make you happy. You know what I mean? You got to stop putting so much emphasis on everybody else's words because someone's always going to have something to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, May the 17th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.